the subject of physics of atom and atomic nucleus. Lecture number 13, same of lecture, instability of atomic nuclei. Lecture plan, first, natural radioactivity, second, statistical character of radioactive decay, third, law of radioactive decay. Radioactivity. In, in 1896, the French physicist Henry Becquerel studied the luminescence of uranium salts and accidentally discovered spontaneous emission of radiation of unknown nature by them. This radiation acted on the photographic plate, ionized air penetrated through thin metal plates and caused luminescence of number of substances. For example, image of Becquerel photographic plate. Marie and Pierre Curie discovered that Becquerel radiation is peculiar not only to uranium, but to many other heavy elements, for example, thorium and actinium. There also that uranium resin blend, the ore from which uranium is extracted, emits radiation whose intensity is many times greater than the intensity of uranium radiation. Thus, it was possible to distinguish two new elements, a carrier of Becquerel radiation, polonium and radium. The detected radiation was called radioactive emanation, and the phenomenon itself, the emission of radioactive emanation, was radioactivity. First experiments showed that the nature of radioactive emanation of the preparation is not affected by the type of chemical compound, aggregate state, mechanical pressure, temperature, electric and magnetic fields. It has all those effects that could lead to a change in the state of the electron shell of the atom. Consequently, the radioactive properties of the element are due only to the structure of the, its nucleus. Radioactivity is the ability of some atomic nuclei to spontaneously transform into other nuclei with the emission of various types of radioactive emanations and elementary particles. Radioactivity is subdivided into natural, observed in unstable isotopes existing in nature, and artificial, observed in isotopes obtained through nuclear reactions. There is no fundamental difference between the two types of radioactivity, since the laws of radioactive transformation are identical in both cases. Radioactive emanation is of three types, alpha, beta and gamma radiation. The alpha radiation is deflected by electric and magnetic fields, has a high ionizing capacity and low penetrating power. For example, it is absorbed by aluminum law approximately 0.05 mm thick. For example, alpha radiation is a flux of helium nuclei. The charge of the alpha particle is plus 2 multiplied E and the mass coincides with the mass of the nucleus of the helium is the top. He the top. According to the deviation of the alpha particles in the electric and magnetic fields, their specific charge, Q divided M sub alpha, was determined, the value of which confirmed the correctness of the ideas about their nature. The beta radiation is deflected by electric and magnetic fields. Its ionizing power is much smaller by about two orders of magnitude and the penetrating power is much larger. It is absorbed by aluminum lava about 2 mm thick. Then for alpha particles. The beta radiation is a flux of fast electrons. This follows from the definition of their specific charge. The absorption of a flux of electrons with identical velocities in a homogeneous substance obeys the exponential law and equals n sub zero multiplied e 
minus 2 minus mu multiplied x power where n sub 0 and n are the number of electrons at the entrance and exit of a layer of matter of thickness x and mu is the absorption coefficient. Beta radiation is strongly scattered in matter, therefore mu depends not only on the substance, but also on the size and shape of the bodies to which the beta radiation falls. Beta decays. Beta particles in negative electron is shown being emitted by a nucleus. The gamma radiation is not deflected by electric and magnetic fields, has a relatively weak ionizing ability and a very high penetrating power. For example, passes through a lead layer 5 cm thick. The crystal diffraction of gamma radiation takes place. Gamma radiation is short wave electromagnetic radiation with an extremely short wavelength. Therefore, it has pronounced corpuscular properties. It has, is a flux of particles, gamma quanta, photons. The figure on the right shows the position of gamma rays on the radiation scale. The radioactive decay, or simply decay, is the natural radioactive transformation of nuclei that occurs spontaneously. The atomic nucleus, which undergoes a radioactive decay, is called the parent nucleus. The nucleus that arises in the is the daughter nucleus. The theory of radioactive decay is based on the assumption that radioactive decay is a spontaneous process that obeys the laws of statistics. Since individual radioactive nuclei decay independently from each other, it can be assumed that the number of the nuclei dn is integrated in average over the time interval from t to t plus dt, in proportion to the time interval dt, and the number n non-decomposed nuclei at time t. dn equals minus lambda multiplied n multiplied dt where lambda is the constant for a given radioactive substance, a value called the radioactive decay constant. The minus sign indicates that the total number of radioactive nuclei decreases during the decay process. Dividing the variables and, and, and integrating. We get n equals n zeros multiplied e to minus lambda t power, lambda multiplies t power, where n zeros is the initial number of non-decayed nuclei at the time t equals zero, n is the number of non-decayed nuclei at time t. The formula expresses the law of radioactive decay according to which the number of undecomposed nuclei decreases exponentially with time. The intensity of the radioactive decay process is characterized by two values, the half-life t and the main lifetime tau of the radioactive nucleus. The half-life t is the time for which the initial number of radioactive nuclei decreases on average by half. Then n zeros divided 2 equals n zero zeros multiplied e to minus lambda multiplied t and t equals natural logarithm 2 divided lambda equals 0 0.693 divided lambda. The half life for natural radioactive elements range from 10 millions of a second to many billions of years. The total lifetime of the DN nuclei is T 
multiply dn equals lambda n multiply t multiply dt. Integrating this expression over all possible t is as from 0 to infinity and the dividing by the initial number of n zeros nuclei we obtain the average lifetime tau of the radioactive nucleus. Next formula. Tau equals 1 divided lambda. Thus, the average lifetime tau of the radioactive nucleus is a replicable of the radioactive decay constant lambda. Nuclide is a common name of atomic nuclei, differing in the number of protons Z and neutrons N. The activity A of the nuclide in a radioactive source is the number of decays occurring with the nuclei of the sample during one second. A equals dn divided dt equals lambda multiplied n. Unit of activity in C system Becquerel, one becquerel nucleate activity in which one nucleus decays in one second. In nuclear physics, a non-systematic unit of nucleate activity is also used in the radioactive source Curie. One Curie equals 3.7 multiplied 10 to 10 power becquerel. And also use it the radioactive radio nucleate activity reservoir. One reservoir equals one million becquerel. Radiative decay occurs in accordance with the so-called displacement rules, which allow to determine which nucleus arises from a decay of a given parent nucleus. Displacement rules for alpha decay. Next form for beta decay. Next formula. Where x a parent nucleus, y is a daughter nucleus. Helium is the helium nucleus, alpha particle, E is the electron, charge is equal to minus 1, mass number is 0. The rules of displacement are a consequence of two laws that are fulfilled in radioactive decays, the conservation of electric charge and the conservation of the mass number. The sum of the charges, mass numbers of the nuclei and particles arising is equal to the charge mass number of the initial nucleus. The nuclei that result from the radiative decay can in turn be radioactive. This leads to the emergence of a chain of radioactive transformations terminating in stable element. The totality of the elements forming such a chain is called a, the radioactive family. It follows from the displacement rules that the mass number decreases by 4 for alpha decay and does not change for beta decay. Therefore, for all nuclei of the same radioactive family, the remainder of dividing the mass number by 4 is the same. Thus, there are four different radioactive families, for which of which for each of which the mass numbers are given by one of the following formulas. A equals 4 multiplied n, A equals 4 multiplied n plus 1, A equals 4 multiplied n plus 2, and A equals 4 multiplied n plus 3, where n is a positive integer. Families are named according to the most long-lived with the largest half-life ancestor. Families of thorium from thorium 132nd thorium, neptunium from 237th to neptunium, uranium from 238th uranium, and actinium from 235th actinium. The phenylnucleids are respectively 208th plumbum. 209th bismuth, 206 plumbum, 207 plumbum. It is the only family of neptunium 
artificial addicts nuclei terminates to the bismuth nuclei and all other natural addict nuclei the nucleus of plumbum second first third and fourth families next slide applied literature next slide questions for students first it is possible to slow down the emission of radiative rays by melting uranium second give an example of an experiment proving that bacteria's radiation belongs to the nucleus third two types of nuclei tau first first greater than tau second are taken in the same quantity which nuclei will remain more after the decay during time it time t explain first can decays form the nucleus on the element to the right of the original one fifth three of radioactive families end up with lead isotopes when they decay why Thank you for your attention.